a lot of Quran to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about you, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solvers. We just need to stay the hell away from them. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for Assault's forces. Good call. Up and away. Up there? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Parashurama's bow. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the trident. And another old fortress just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Was it worth a climb? 
and then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Sav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. <laughs> right, you're the military expert. What's the Sav's strategy here? He's... Oh, hold on. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? I feel like stretching my legs. Right, Eo. <laughs> what is this place? You got me. Razor, over here. Look. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. I don't see a way across. Neither do I. we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. Look at that bracelet. It must have belonged to one of their queens. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. It filled one of the spots on the map. Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. This going to help us get the tusk? I don't think so, but... Extra cash. <laughs> right. Right. Come on, let's get back to it. Hey, no hitchhikers. Shoo. Oh, you're no fun. What, do you want them shitting all over the seat? Looks safe. Smells safe. Let's go. All right. And we were talking about... We were talking about Assad. Oh, right. He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised. Wait a sec. Look there. One of a Saab's trucks. Looks clear out here.
This should do the trick. Okay. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Right. In we go. Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Interesting. Let's keep moving. Right. Fine. Come on down. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear.
Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Ah! Oh shit, statue moved again. Look out! Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols. Star. They're all voice last time. I like your descriptions better. Ah! The miss there!
You see the symbol on the pillars and the symbol on the axe of the sign? I did. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient voice alarm jigsaw puzzle? Of course. I'm making an axe. Nice to see you, Shiva. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. 
I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with a bow in the lake bed, and that fort sporting the trident above the waterfalls. I suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <sighs> Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. So you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving? is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know, but it looks as though we have two more symbols to find. Copy that. Oh. 
Alrighty, let's roll. The rebels beat us here. Copy that. Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. Hey! Who's there? It's Fraser! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. Come on.
us! No escaping me now. Okay. We're all clear. It won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over a song. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. I think the sort of men know what they're looking for. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. <clears throat> Follow me! Gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asad himself. Ah. I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. Are you there? Are we clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say.
Our spigot is right on the other side of this gate. Must be a way to open it around here somewhere. That's a shore bed. Let's go and look. <sighs> Must be a way to open that gate. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. That should do it. Us at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Impressed? You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a go this time. Good guess.
Madonna Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Plus, and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halabadoo. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls, the one with the trident. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname, either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, this is open now. more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Parting wars was my concern for a time. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Yeah. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. 
I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. Hey, hold on. The Solves boys are giving this place the once over. He's nothing if not thorough. Well, here goes nothing. That's it? Think so. Spoke too soon. Heads up! Shit! Fragile. Hmm. This symbol. Not one of the three we're looking for, but it matches the one in that shrine we visited. <laughs> Another crest of a Hoysala king. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. After all that, you find anything? Found another token. Hey, notice anything about this statue? It's holding a trident, one of our three symbols. Yes, and it's pointing at those ruins. Right. Well done. Glad I'm good for something. Looks like there might be a road leading up there.
Taking more guards over there, yeah? Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secure? Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra Let's 8. Just keep this quiet as long as we can. Spotted something. <laughs> Make sure there is nothing. Hey, you got anything? Talk to me. Hang on. Right down over here. Oh. Yeah, what? Hey! Here we go! We've spotted us! I saw them going that way. Go check it out. You might found them. That was a nice thing. No, That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. How about you? That's two.
Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Hell, that's not fair. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring. Ganesh? Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. 
We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, no. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. Fraser, incoming reinforcements. Figures. Hello, brothers, where are you? Control uh, empty. Do a sweep. Dawson <laughs> Fraser might still be here. Hang on. <laughs> hey! 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 Fraser, they tornado! Oh no no! Let's find a way out. For real this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short controlled burst means. Right. No. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do. Right.
Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. <laughs> this one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born in it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Yep, shall we? Right behind you. <laughs> Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place. Task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? 